The Replace Geometry feature is a built-in capability in Esri that lets you replace an existing feature with a new feature, but while still retaining all of the attribute information, including the object ID and the global ID. So in this case, we're going to replace this wire with a new wire because it has some unusual geometry. So let me uh, select the wire first of all here. And if I click on vertices up here, you're going to see that there's actually um, several different uh, segments of it. And so we really want to simplify this. And instead of trying to fix it by deleting out segments, I'm just going to redraw the whole thing. But I have a number of attributes here that I want to be able to maintain. So I don't want to have to you know, re-enter things. And especially, I don't want to have a new global ID or a new object ID. So to do this, I'm going to click on the, uh, well, first off, I actually you do need to select the object. And so I'm going to just go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to click on Modify. And that's in the Edit menu up here. So Edit, then Modify. And then it's going to show the Modify Features list here in this, uh, this pane. So I'm going to go down the list here and pick Replace Geometry. So I'll click that. And now I'm in actual um, kind of sketching mode. So I'm, I'm going to just start drawing this new line. And it already knows it's going to use the same exact um, type of feature. So I don't have to do any kind of selection there. So I'm just going to go ahead and click to start my line. And I'm going to go to the exact same uh, location as what it was there before. And then I'm going to click. And I could double click here to finish that off. Or I could just click once and then go over to finish. And so, so now if I go and select it, actually it already is selected. Actually, you know what? I'll draw a new selection box just so you can see that there is only a single line there. So I do have just one line that's in my attributes uh, window here. And as you can see, it's got the same exact object ID and the same global ID. And if you just look quickly down and you can go back and review in the video, you'll see that these values are also exactly the same.